What is going on, YouTube? Joe here with Culination Media, and welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby. This is episode number eight. And in the last episode, we finally were able to reach Dooford Town. We did some exploring, and we are ready, just about ready, to take on Granite Cave. Because remember, we're searching for Steven. We need to hand him over that letter that we received from the Devon Corporation's president, Mr. Stone. Uh, and we haven't been able to find him, even though he was supposedly in Dooford Town. So we're going to check the Granite Cave. Uh, there's a couple of trainers over here, or what I believe to be trainers, that I would like to uh, battle first. And see if there's any items or anything over here. So that's what we're going to do. That is just the plan for uh, this episode is to just, you know, just just try to find Steven, really. That's just about it. So we can do that. That would be fantastic. As we're getting started off today, uh, just a friendly reminder in case you guys haven't done so already and you would like to show your support to the channel and the series and all that fun stuff, uh, you can do so by clicking that thumbs up button right below this video. Uh, as always, or you can uh, leave your suggestions down below, uh, any tips for me, anything that I'm doing wrong, all that good stuff. And that confusion did a lot because it is a critical hit. And we see the yawn come through here, which I don't know if I like that, but I think I'm just going to... No, I don't want to fall asleep. You're, you're truant, so you can attack this turn, so there's really no reason for me to not just switch out at this point. And then we can finish the job with Eric the Trico. We are going to be adding, I hope, a third team member in this episode. So we'll see. We'll see if that comes to fruition or not. But uh, it's looking like that's what's going to happen. I'll go for a Mega Drain. Uh, just because this thing's at level 13. And we may actually have to do some, like, grinding or something. Because we're almost getting to the point where we have to face another gym leader. And we haven't gained a lot of levels, it seems like. Eric's going to grow up to level 16. And that is that. So he's going to try to evolve, but remember, I'm holding off until level 21 to evolve this uh, Trico, just because Trico is the only member of his evolutionary line that learns Giga Drain, and he learns it at level 21. If you evolve it into Grovile, you miss that opportunity to get the move, and I really don't want that. I don't want that, so I will continually just um, not evolve him, basically. That is what I'm trying to say. I'll switch uh, Eric to the front, just because this fisherman probably has water-type Pokemon like Goldeen or something, or Tentacruel. Tentacool, even though Tentacool is um, part Poison-type. Still, still, we'll see. He has one Pokemon, and it is a Tentacool, so maybe I should have left uh, Ralts out in the front just because um, we would have had confusion. And you could have Liquid Ooze, which means Mega Drain's not going to do... As much as I want it to. Uh, let's just go with a Rock Tomb here. And it'll lower its speed. Not that that's going to make much of a difference. Oh, no, you're clear, body. Okay, we're safe because uh, Rock Tomb always, always lowers speed. Fortunately, he went for the Acid there, which uh, is super effective. And will Mega Drain kill? No, it will not. Tentacool does have much higher base uh, special defense. Its, it's special defense is like base 100 maybe, or 90, it's actually quite high for a uh, non-evolved Pokemon. I'll go for a quick attack here to finish off the job, and down goes the level 13 Tentacool. So that is cool beans. And, oh wow, we got a lot of experience points for that. That's always good. Silcoon is growing up to level 7, which I know it's supposed to evolve from Wurmple at level 7, but I just caught it in Petalburg Woods. The only reason he's in the party is just to... Uh, get beautify eventually in our pokedex anyway see some swimmers out there but we don't have surf so we don't need to worry about that let's see what's up here another fisherman and an item okay let's see let's see what the item is first it is a protein which increases uh, attack evs we don't need to worry about that because we have two special attackers at least for now and i'll talk to you which do you prefer fishing in the sea or a stream well, I haven't done any fishing yet, and I'm like 10, so I don't know why you're asking me this. Fisherman Elliot, who's going to start off with a Magikarp. Probably has two Magikarps, let's be real here. But Eric is starting things off for us, and a Mega Drain will probably just one-shot this, I would think. With the Miracle Seed and everything, yep, that's a dead Magikarp. And Eric is going to grow, uh, not grow, but he's going to get all of that HP back. Back up to full HP, in fact. And he's already almost growing up to level uh, 17. Shroomish is trying to learn Headbutt. The only reason I'm keeping Shroomish around at this point is just to uh, stun spore things. If I want to capture them, that's really it. 
That is really it. Zigzag Goon is growing up to level 11. Trying to learn. Everyone's trying to learn headbutt. What is this? What is this? I guess I'll get rid of tackle. Doesn't really matter though. You're just in the party for cut. Oh, like half, more than half of the Pokemon I have in my party are just there for like random reasons that have nothing to do with actually completing the game and being on the actual team. They just, they're slaves, essentially. We're using them. We're gonna use them up and spit them out because we're evil. Out comes the Tentacruel, level 12. And I think a Confusion can one-shot this, at least I hope. Uh, no, despite being super effective. Thankfully, that supersonic missed because then I would have had to switch out because I will hit myself every chance that I get when I'm confused. That's just what it is. That's just how it works for me. It's like more like a 95% chance to attack yourself as opposed to a 50% chance that it's supposed to be. Silcoon, ugh, Silcoon grew another level to level 8. So only two more before we can uh, box him officially. And... All right, so that's everything over here. What does this have to say? Trainer tips. I think I talked to that already. What is this? Route 106. Okay, that's very informative. So we are heading into... Well, wait. Is there a Pokemart here? If there is, I want to see if we can get repels for Granite Cave. Because we're going to get attacked by wild Pokemon all over the place. Uh, No, we already did all the exploring over here, and I don't think there is a Pokemart. So we're just going to have to uh, deal with getting attacked by wild Pokemon constantly. It's just what it is. And it's not too bad because uh, one of these Pokemon I'm going to attempt to add to our team anyway. So we have uh, Trico Eric here out at the beginning of the party. I'll leave him out there for now because there's going to be a lot of Rock-type Pokemon, I would think. This is interesting. We need the, uh, what, the mock bike for that? Let's talk to you. Hey, you, it gets awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough trying to explore. Well, for us hikers, helping out those that we meet is our motto. Here you go, I'll pass this on to you. He's going to give us TM70, which is Flash. So we're going to need to teach that to somebody. Teach that TM Flash to a Pokemon and use it. It lights up even the inky darkness of caves. Okay. Um... I don't know if anybody in our party can learn it, other than maybe Ark, and I don't want to get rid of Teleport. I know, as silly as that sounds, uh, actually Shroomish can learn it. So Shroomish is going to be a little bit of a, a slave here. Why can Shroomish know Flash? That makes no sense to me whatsoever. But who am I to judge? Uh, what do I want to get rid of? That is the question. That is really the question here. I just taught you Headbutt. Leech Seed is great. Um, I guess I'll get rid of Leech Seed. I guess it's not that great, because I'm getting rid of it. So, yeah. Alright, so that will allow us to explore further on in the uh, cave as it gets very dark. We're already getting attacked by a wild Pokemon. We'll see what that is. It is a Geodude. Well, I might as well just uh, take you out. Level 10. Gain some experience from that. That'll actually put us up at level 17, I would think. Are you sturdy? You are sturdy, so we're going to have to at least absorb a hit here, and it is Defense Curl. So, since you're down to 1 HP, even with that defense uh, going up to plus 1, I'm pretty confident in just going for a quick attack here, finishing you off. Um, I, I really feel like we need some experience, because I don't know what level Brawly's Makohita is. Like, 18 maybe? I feel... maybe that's a little high. I, I really don't know. Eric is trying to learn Pursuit. Um, do we really need Leer? I don't think that we do. So, I'll give you Pursuit. It's just some extra coverage. I mean, we'll eventually get rid of it anyway, but... So be it. And the rest of our team gained a little bit of experience, but nobody grows a level. We're gonna have to cancel this evolution again. It would be nice if we had an Everstone. But, uh, that is not the case. Actually, I probably should have tried to capture that Geodude, since I don't have a Geodude yet. Hmm. All right, let's talk to you. Who are you? The mural ahead has drawn a lot of attention lately. The other day, Team Something in Red or Blue Suits came here in numbers. Can I... Can I... I can't get past here. Hey, hey! Cutting in line is no bueno. Okay. 
The mural ahead, we can't figure out what's painted there, but that makes ruin enthusiasts like me even more curious about it. It looks as if a huge Pokemon is painted on it, but we've never seen such a Pokemon. It's so intriguing and fascinating. So we can't get in here, which means that we likely have to go take on the gym right now, which is a little bit scary. Makuhita! Okay, I will capture you. As long as I don't kill you, of course. Level 11. I would like to add a fighting type Pokemon, I think, eventually. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so he goes for the fake out. That was a good move to go for, actually. Okay, and he's gonna just spam the fake out. He's like, oh, it's definitely gonna work all the time. And yeah, that Mega Drain is gonna give all our HP back. Do I have a lot of Pokeballs? No, I don't. Um, Alright, so I want to make good use of this, then. I don't want to waste Pokeballs, so what I'm going to do is... Oh, Zigzagoon picked up an item. That's why I like Pickup. And as his level increases, he will pick up better and better items, too. So we're going to switch out Shroomish here, and we're going to Stun Spore you. Oh, it's never going to hit now that I got Sand Attacked. Crap. We'll try a couple times. If it keeps missing, then I'll just start throwing Pokeballs, I guess. Oh, never mind, it's the first time. It's a 75% accuracy move at minus one accuracy. Sheesh. And he's still spamming the sand attacks. Yikes. All right, uh, well, regardless, I will just throw a Pokeball at you. You have almost no HP. You're paralyzed and you're Makuhita. There's no way you're staying in this. No way, come on now. Don't make a fool of me, thank you. Makohita is ours, not the Pokemon I wanted to add to my party, but uh, we can add it to our Pokedex, which is always good. And Ark grows to level 16 as well, even though we haven't been using him in battle. So I'll take that. Let's see the Pokedex entry. Registration completed! Makohita is tenacious and will keep getting up and attacking its foe, however many times it is knocked down. Every time it gets back up, the Pokemon stores more energy in its body for evolving. It actually takes a while for uh, Makahita to evolve, I would think. Was it like level 30? Maybe it is in the 20s. I don't know. Who knows what I'm talking about. Okay, we can't go up there. We're going to get attacked by yet another wild Pokemon here. And it is another Makahita. Makahita's everywhere. They are everywhere. I'm going to run for this one. Because I don't want to get sand attacked. It's scary. Sand attack is scary. Alright, so I'm not going to worry about getting whatever Pokemon I wanted to get in here yet, because we are not able to progress through the cave. We need to go battle the gym leader. And, because that's really the only other thing I can think of that uh, we're supposed to be doing, unless going into Pokemon Center is part of it, because I don't think we went in here. Let's see, let's just talk, let's talk to some people. Even if a Pokemon faints and can't battle, it can still use HM moves, okay. As long as you have Pokemon by your side, you can overcome language barriers and meet many different kinds of people. Nothing interesting there. The edge of town, there's a cavern known as Granite Cave. I've heard you can find rare stones there. So nothing terribly interesting. We'll heal up our Pokemon. We need to uh, take that item away from Zigzagoon before I forget, because I already kind of forgot. And we can deposit that Makahita as well. So uh, things to do. And then we can head on out for the gym. We'll put uh, Ark in the front of our party to take on all those fighting types we're about to go up against. You still are not at level 10. Antidote. All right, that, that could be useful. Fake out, focus energy, sand attack, arm thrust with a naive nature, which I believe is minus special defense. Not that great. So I'm not, I don't feel like I'm missing out. I really don't. Well, okay then, we got all that sorted out, so now we can head on over to the gym, and I believe it's like pitch black in here, and it only gets lighter as um, you battle trainers, I think? Maybe not. Maybe not, I don't know. I, th I thought that's what this gym was. Yo, how's it going, champ to be Culination? Duford's gym leader, Brawly, commands fighting type Pokemon, going against him with normal type, is asking for trouble. Fighting type Pokemon will lay a serious smackdown on normal type Pokemon, so stay on your toes. Hey, okay, go for it. And he didn't uh, let us know what fighting types weaknesses are. Um, oh, we can get fresh water here. I like that a lot. I will buy several of these. Fortunately, it like, it takes a while to buy them, but they're only 200 uh, Poke dollars a pop, which 
is maybe just about what regular potions are, except it restores more HP. Definitely cheaper than super potions. And uh, as our Pokemon start to evolve into their second forms and get closer and closer to level 20, you know, super potions are going to be used all over the place. So having uh, all these fresh waters is going to come in handy. Unfortunately, yeah, it's just, it takes a long time. So you have to buy one at a time. Yes, I will buy more. I don't know how many I have. But I, I think I only have like five. Let's keep going. Let's, let's buy a couple more. I'll buy two more after this. And have a very awkward number of fresh waters. But it'll probably be worth it. It's better than spending all of our money on super potions. Alright, that should do it. That should be fine. Let's not go overkill with the uh, fresh waters. Moving on. No, I guess it's not pitch black. Or maybe that comes later. The gym looks to be changed a little bit. Don't you dare brush me off. It's not my fault if you cry. I'm not going to be the one crying at the end of this battle. What, what, what is this? You're trying to drop kick me already? That's not fair. What is this pose? Battle girl Lara? I'm going to start off with Meditite. And, well, unfortunately, this is part psychic type. So, uh, yeah. But we still do have the advantage with our fairy typing. So we can fire off a disarming voice. As the Meditite goes for Detect to scout what we're going to do and waste some PP, I'm sure. But I'll still go for a Disarming Voice. Meditate is going to increase its attack, and we know that Meditite is faster now. Which, I don't know if that's good for us or not. That did a lot of damage. That did a lot, a lot of damage. I will go for another Disarming Voice. And you just go for Detect. So Detect, Meditate, Detect. It's been three turns. And you have not gone for an attacking move yet. Not even once. And you just go for another meditate. That's fine by me. Because unless for some strange reason this arming voice misses, which it can't. You're going down here. And was that her only Pokemon or did she have one more? Now we get the critical hit because that is the story of our lives. Meaningless crits. Oh, that was it. Okay, so she just had the meditate. Wow, I lost. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. I told you that you were going to lose from the beginning. You just didn't listen to me. Ah, okay, I see. I see. So we can't just go across here. Can we run? No. Okay, so we have to go this way. And up. Like that. And we're going to have to battle you, so let's just do it. Might is right! Come on! Well, okay then, Black Belt. Hideki! And he's going to start off with a Machop. So just a pure fighting type, we should be able to just uh, go with Confusion the whole way here. This one's at level 13 as well. Maybe the Makahito will be at level like 15 or something. I don't know. I really don't know. But we're going to go for a Confusion, and that's going to hurt. It's not quite going to be a 1-8 KO. Focus Energy, but we outspeed, so that really doesn't worry me too much. We can go with Disarming Voice this time around. Doesn't really matter which we go for. Just pure fighting types are weak to uh, both of Ralsa's stabs. So that's going to be good for us. And a little bit of experience. Silcoon's growing up to level 9. So by the time we get out of this gym, the Silcoon can be boxed. Which it'll then be a beautify. But you know what I'm saying. Okay, so we need to step on this. Oh, we have to go to the right now. Alright, so up, over, up. Yeah, there we go. I actually got it right. This is very confusing. Wow, this is <laughs> that's going to be very confusing. Okay. First of all, we have to battle you. There's no need for Brawly to be involved. I'll crush you. Well then, these battle girls are like, they're way too, uh, I don't know. I don't know what word I would use to describe it. Enthusiastic, maybe? They just seem cocky to me. Like, overly cocky. Like, it be, it's beyond just being confident. But, I don't know. Confusion from this Meditite does a whopping 3 HP because it's a resisted hit. And even though it is Stab, you know, it's not doing that much. And Disarming Voice. Wow, that is almost a one-shot. I will go for Echoed Voice this time around. And we're going to see another Confusion coming our way. That's not going to do much. A whopping 3 HP again. And we're going to get a head start on our Echoed Voices. So maybe another Echoed Voice will take out whatever comes out next. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Zigzagoon growing up to level 12. 
trying to learn baby doll eyes. That is better than growl because at least it gets priority, so I'll get rid of that. And we'll see what this last Pokemon is. It's probably Machop. Yep, there it is. I'm going to stay in. And we'll see how much another Echoed Voice will do. It's not Stab, and it's not super effective, so I, I don't know. I feel like I can't take out any of these Pokemon in one hit anyway. That did quite a bit. Focus Energy. Yes, I'm sure you're getting pumped. But you're not going to get the chance to attack because another Echoed Voice is going to finish you off. Boom. Down you go. And that's that's it for uh, Battle Girl Tessa. So now we need to figure out a way to get ourselves through this little maze in the dark with all the training equipment everywhere. Let's take a look at it again. Um, I really don't know what to do on the right. I can't see a path. So it looks like we're going to the left. We need to go down, over, no, up. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And is this where Brawly is? Yes, it is. Oh, look at him. He's ready to go. He's, he's doing some crazy warm-ups or something. Do we need to heal up? Not really. Zigzagoon has another item, though, so that's always good. Antidote. We're good on potions. I think we can just go ahead and uh, try to challenge him here. So we're going to live life on the wild side a little bit. This is all different. Look at all this training stuff. I, it seems like it's there's way too many uh, treadmills, though, for this room. I'm Brawly, Duford's gym leader. I've been churned in the rough waves of these parts, and I've grown tough using the cave at the outskirts of this town as my training ground, as well as using the equipment in this gym. So you want to challenge me? Let me see what you're made of. Whoa. Man, these battle poses are too much to handle right now. Here we go, it's time to take on Brawly in our second gym battle of the game. And he's going to start off with a Machop, which is a little bit uh, a little bit scary, I would think. So he has a Machop and a Makohita. And I believe that our best choice here would be to just spam Echoed Voice. So I'm going to go for it. Because we should be able to get, like, four hits in a row. Wow, that did nothing. Never mind. Uh, Karate Chop, don't get a critical hit. Don't you dare get a critical hit. Okay. That doesn't do much because we quad resist it. So we can just continue to power up our uh, Echoed Voices here. I know it's not super effective. And we might even get him to use a potion as he is uh, using a bulk up. That's really not that bad. So we'll have three turns of increased power by the time this Makahita comes out at least. Yeah, he's not going to use his potion or super potion or fresh water or whatever it is that he has. Machop is just going to go down. And that's one out of two. And we're, I feel like we're just not getting that much experience out of these Pokemon. Uh, Makahita's coming out. This is his ace. It is level 16. So uh, Eric is actually a higher level. But we'll fire off another Echoed Voice. I don't know if this will one-shot, but it's going to do a lot. Uh, wow, that came so close. So close. Oh, man. All right, he now he's going to go for the... Hmm, he's going to go for the potion, and an echoed voice, I guarantee it'll miss if I go for it here. So I'm going to go for the disarming voice, because I know it won't miss. And hopefully, with stab, that is enough to take out the Makahita. I was really hoping with all those echoed voices that we had piled up that it would be enough. But not quite. Alright, and... Oh yeah, that's going to be a solid 2 at KO. We should outspeed this Makahita too. So this was uh, no challenge. This was not even as difficult as uh, what we had against Roxanne. Only a couple of minutes long was this battle. Maybe, was it even two minutes? I don't know. I feel like that was really short. Eric is growing up to level 18. Silcoon is growing up to level 10, which is what we wanted. So we're going to have to watch one evolution and cancel the other here. First up is Eric. What is he at level 18? So we got three more to go. And we can evolve him at level 21. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, this is Silcoon evolving into Beautifly, and we will uh, allow this one to happen, and we can box the Silcoon, and hopefully then go to Granite Cave, get that other Pokemon that I wanted to capture, and find Steven in there as well. Oh, hello, Beautifly. Hello. 
the colors. Look at the colors, the pattern and everything. Beautiful, I learned. Gust, that's always good. All right, so we're about to get our second badge here. Okay, you got me. Take this gym badge. And it's a giant circle thing. Interesting shaped badge. The knuckle badge. The knuckle badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30, even those you get in trades obey without question. Hmm, you know what? I think you can make full use of this too. I'm sure this will help your Pokemon bulk up muscle. And we obtain TM08, which is bulk up. So we saw his Machop use that. Bulk up temporarily enhances the Pokemon's muscle power. The move boosts both attack and defense stats of the Pokemon. You can see your talent becoming a giant wave that causes a storm of astonishment with trainers one day. I look forward to the day when I can surf your giant wave. By the way, have you been to Granite Cave? It's located to the north of this town. It's full of fascinating stuff, like rare stones and wall paintings thousands of years old. My friend Steven rushed to the cave after I told him about it. Ah, so you're friends with Steven, and we're going to have to uh, go check it out then. Definitely. But we're going to save that for the next episode, because I believe we are just about out of time. Yeah, we've been recording for about 26 minutes, so that sounds about right. First things first, we want to go ahead and get all healed up here, because it was a gym battle. I will deposit that Beautifly. And that'll leave us some room to add the other Pokemon I wanted to add. Unfortunately, we did not capture it in this episode, so there's that. Um, all right, you. Brave Natured Beautifly, which is positive attack. That's pretty bad. Whoa, you picked up a Hyper Potion. Not even bad. Not even bad. Yeah, Ark is kind of falling behind as far as the levels are concerned. Eric's already at level 18. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. All right, so that is going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Next time around, we're going to be adding another Pokemon to our team and exploring Granite Cave as well because these people should be out of the way, and I'll stop right here. So like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you're leaving a like rating or a comment or whatever you would like to do, and I will see you all next time. But until then, game on.